So we know by now that the Mavic can do some high definition video. We love it, it does a great job. But did you know that the Mavic can also do high definition photographs? HDR, high dynamic range photos that you can manipulate in some software afterwards and get some fantastic still photos as well. So today we're gonna to actually set that up, try it on a Mavic, see what it looks like with some software at the end and see how it goes. So if this is your first time here, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. It's good to see you. My name is Keith, and this is Alien Drones. And I do mostly drone tech, photography, tips and tutorials, FAA regulations, rules, new industry goings on. And if that's something that would interest you, you may want to consider hitting the subscribe button. That'll let you know if there's some new content that might be of interest to you. So here we go. So I'm going to pop in and out here and fill in some information that I may have missed while I was recording. Uh, but before I do that, a big shout out and a hat tip to Jimmy Lugo. Uh, Jimmy was one of the people who commented on one of the last videos. And what happens is every once in a while, just for the heck of it, in the far reaches of the video, way, way at the end, I'll put a, a little piece of information, a call out, sometimes even a giveaway. And if you make it to the final end, you actually ought to make it all the way to the end, uh, and put whatever information I'm asking for in the comments, uh, you will get a chance to uh, win whatever that happens to be. And in this case, it was a shout out. So again, thank you, Jimmy, for making it all the way to the end. I certainly do appreciate it. Also, I wanna mention that indeed, when I did this photo series, I did start out with one shot that was in all automatic mode, just so we have that for a baseline. I didn't record it while I was doing it, so I will mention it here, but I do indeed have one shot that is an all automatic, then we went to manual JPEG, manual RAW, then we went to our HDR and actually did that. And we'll show all of those comparisons so we can go from the beginning to the end of how all these shots will look and which one looks the best. All right, so let's just enter the flight mode and we're all connected here. So first thing we're gonna do is actually just go into camera mode instead of video. And we can do that by flipping this way. And you'll notice I do have a compass here. It's because I have the uh, Mavic actually sitting on a bench here that's metal. Uh, so I'll, get, I'll take care of that in a little bit here. No worries. And what we're going to do is we're going to first go into our camera settings. And we're going to make sure that our ISO is all the way down to 100. That'll give us the uh, highest resolution that we can. Uh, take some of the graininess out. And then we're actually going to go into the shutter that gives us a decent histogram. Now I can just kind of tell from the image here that we're going to be sharp and, and that's okay. We want to make sure that we have a, a higher uh, shutter speed than normal when we do videos because we're not really worried about motion blur like we are with the videos. Uh, so we go ahead and look and indeed our histogram is nice and sharp and right in the center. So that's a really pretty decent spot for us. Uh, white balance. I typically like to set that at 6500, just gives us the uh, best kind of resolution overall when I'm working with it. Uh, however, we could set that to sunny or uh, anything else that uh, works for you. Of course here we can, our image format, we can do JPEG or RAW. And we're gonna choose JPEG and RAW for right now. Uh, RAW will give us more information if we wanna do some post-processing. JPEG we'll be able to use right out of the box, but of course that's gonna give us the least uh, resolution in our image to work with later. Okay, so here's really all of our settings in a nutshell here. Uh, first, our photo, we have a few options. You have a single shot, which is, sounds kind of like it, uh, it is. It's just gonna take a single shot. An HDR, which is a high dynamic range uh, photo. And that's something that's actually going to take multiple photos, uh, different exposures, and then compile them automatically within the software. Now, uh, the, I found that it's not perfectly good. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does a halfway decent job. Um, but uh, we're gonna do something similar to that when we get to the AEB, and that's why I wanna take the Mavic out, just to try it and see what happens here. Then you have the burst mode, of course, which is gonna take just multiple uh, pictures, give us some sequencing. Then the AEB is what I really wanna try here, which is gonna take uh, three or five photos. And those photos is going to be at different exposures and then we're gonna be able to manipulate those later. 
And I do want to try this because I do have some software that I purchased uh, and I want to see if I can spruce that up and see how nice this AEB actually works on the Mavic. And the interval is if you're going to actually do some time lapse, things like that, and you want to take a picture every so many seconds, 10, 15, 20, you can see here, and uh, uh, stitch those together later for uh, one of those time lapse photos. And then last, of course, is the panel, which the sphere, maybe we'll do one of those just to see what they look like. It is kind of cool, uh, but you can also see the 180 horizontal and vertical. So I'm going to go back and I want to actually do one of the AEBs just to see what that looks like. And then I'm going to stitch that together later. So here we go. All right, so first things first, we're going to start out with our auto shot and see what this looks like. And it's not actually too bad. It turned out pretty decent. Uh, the sky looks uh, relatively clean. Uh, the dynamic range isn't too bad. And you might think if you look at this first, yeah, you know what? This isn't too bad. I could live with this kind of a photo. I, I agree. It's not bad at all. If you zoom in here, it's actually got a reasonable amount of detail. Uh, so uh, I agree. Uh, no worries there. Uh, but let's go to our next set of photos. So the next photo is going to be our manual settings photo. And one thing you'll notice right away is that we do have a little bit bigger dynamic range. You can see the blues are a little bluer, the darks are a little darker. And again, by itself, this is a really nice photograph. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Uh, I think it does a really nice job. But as you can see here, we'll compare the manual with the automatic photo. It definitely gives us some better ranges. And that's the benefit of doing the raw photos is the dynamic range from the darks to the lights is better. It gets you a little more range so that you can adjust them out later. So again, I really like this photo. Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. But I really want to try this photo in our new software, which is Luminar. And this Luminar software is incredible. It does so many things. Uh, I, I, I was blown away by it. And what we're gonna do is I wanna take the HDR photos, the high dynamic range photos, which takes our series of uh, different exposures, and then takes these and compiles them and extracts the lights and the darks where they need to be so that the photos will be as vibrant as you can. You have all kinds of adjustments in this. So let's look at the original photo first. I'm gonna pull this up in Luminar. Okay, so here is our photo uh, as we pulled in, and this is the raw photo. And we can tell that by looking over here, you can see this is actual, uh, says raw, this DNG, and this is the raw photo that the Mavic pulls in. And again, you can see it does look pretty darn good. Again, I would have no problems with this whatsoever, uh, posting this somewhere and uh, be embarrassed at all. It does, it's doing a nice job. But let's just look automatically what this software applies. So it's gonna actually go in and pull out some of the highs and the lows. And we're, to do that, we're going to turn on our looks here. And let's just pick uh, one that's halfway decent. Uh, so, just one called uh, Image Enhancer. And we'll pick this uh, photo. There we go. And now you can notice that the lows were brought up a little bit higher and the highs were brought down a little bit lower. And look at all the extra detail in here. So I'm going to compare this against our other photos just so we can see the dynamic range difference that this actually applied to this photo. So here we go. And look at the nice differences here in uh, these different photos. And uh, one nice thing about this is you can actually adjust the amount that this applies. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to say this is what it looks like before we edited. And you can pull this little slider across and you can really tell a difference. So here is our original on our left, the original uh, raw image, and here is the information as applied. Uh, in, and again, remember, this is only a single image. Uh, this isn't our HDR, a high dynamic range yet. This is just a single raw photo. Uh, so this is our next step. And if we wanted to turn it on and off here, we could do this. So you can see the difference here between the two. And uh, I don't know about you, but uh, this photo is uh, pretty incredible. I love it. Uh, I love the extra range that this pulled up. 
And this is all done within Luminar. So this is just editing a single photo. So now let's pull up a photo uh, that was actually edited with uh, Aurora, which is another piece of software by the same company. I bought these in a group and they're really not very expensive at all. Uh, but I want to show you what it looks like when we did this final HDR compilation uh, using the Aurora. So now this is the photo that was actually compiled uh, with the HDR. Uh, we saw that on the Mavic when we picked that uh, three photo shoot. Uh, so we can notice the difference now. Look at the amount of detail that's in this. It's incredible. Uh, the sky is blue. Look at the amount of detail in the buildings and in this uh, in the bridge here. You can see this. Uh, so this is one more uh, and I'm going to uh, compare them all. So comparing all, here's our original photo. Here's the next photo, uh, which we took in manual mode. Then we took a single photograph, uh, which was in RAW, and we enhanced it with the Luminar. Then we took this final one, which was the HDR and compiled with the Aurora software. So here's this one. Now there's one last thing I want to show you, which is just unbelievable to me. And that is, we're going to take this HDR photo uh, that was in, uh, that we took out of the Aurora, and I'm actually going to enhance it a little even more uh, with the Luminar. So let's pull that up. Okay, so here is our image as we pulled it into Luminar. And it is uh, our image that was just enhanced a little bit. Uh, but now look at what we can do with this. Uh, if we come over here and let's just say, you know, this beautiful blue sky is nice, but uh, let's say we had some clouds in there or it was gray. We're just going to go down to this sky selection and let's just see if we were to pull in this sunset. See what this looks like. And bam. I don't know if you're as impressed as I am with this, but it replaced the entire sky. There's no editing. There's no cutting around all these items it did a fantastic job and now you don't like that one let's just uh, pick a different uh, sunset and now that we have this sky let's say um, we want to add a sun we want to add a little bit of information let's just do this for instance and uh, we're going to add uh, some star rays in here and Look at that. Done. I am blown away. This would have taken hours and hours to do in the past. And this piece of software did it instantly. I, I don't even know what to say. Uh, let's do one other thing. Show you how powerful this software is. Uh, I'm going to zoom in uh, over here if I can figure out how to get this done. Okay, so you'll notice in this photo, of course, we have this sun coming in. Uh, somebody parked a vehicle in here. What if we wanted to get rid of that vehicle? You know, if I wanted to go in and actually edit this thing out and try to do it by hand uh, to zoom this out, it would be just, oh, I mean, I don't even know where I would start. Uh, let's uh, just look at this for a second and uh, see what we can do here. Let's put our edit back up and we're going to go into this little tool here and let's do an erase. Uh, just for the heck of it. See what happens. Okay. So let's see what happens if we do this. Boom. That vehicle is gone. So here it is. Our vehicle is no longer in that picture. And just for the heck of it here, look at that. That's what it was before. This is what it is after we place the sun on it, change the sky out, took the vehicle out. So one more thing. Uh, let's just try a different sky as well. Again, it's just uh, so cool. Uh, so let me just pick one uh, maybe in the evening here. Let's just pick a starry night. Bam. Now, I, again, I am just blown away. Now, and again, I know what you're thinking. Well, this isn't a photograph anymore, right? 
this is edited, this becomes some kind of a production. This is not a photo like people would take. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I agree. Uh, but when you're posting things or when maybe you're doing a commercial setting or something like that, uh, where you're trying to produce some kind of a content, uh, this is awesome. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, but it, you don't have to take it to this extent. Uh, you could actually take it to where you were just the, uh, making the sky a little more blue or erasing uh, like I did a vehicle in the background or maybe you had some kids playing or some dog in the picture or something like that. Uh, this stuff is incredible. Uh, this technology was never available years ago and it would have taken you probably days to come up with anything like this. This is just uh, awesome. I just love it. Just love it. Uh, and what I've done is I've actually uh, talked to the company and they've agreed uh, to allow me to give you guys a discount. And if you want to purchase this, it's only like a hundred bucks for this whole package. Uh, go ahead and put in alien drones in the coupon section and that will get you a $10 off right off the top. So of course I will put all the links for the Aurora and the Luminar in the description below. So go ahead, click that, take you on over to their site and they have all kinds of tutorials and things like that, uh, let you know what the capabilities are, but it is incredible. I, I, my socks are blown off. If you could see my socks, I have none on. And with that, if you found anything of use in this video, let me know in the comments below what you like and don't like first of all. And of course, slap that like button. I would really appreciate it. What? Uh, so being told I can't use the word slap. So, okay. So smack that like button if you'd like. Smack not any better. Whatever works for you. I appreciate it regardless. And until next time, good flying. <laughs>